This is the first of two uh, short films showing you how to customise your interface. So just to make your interface work for you. So if there's tools you never ever use, what's the point of them being there? Um, they're just going to get in your way, slow you down and might confuse you. You can always get them back again, you can always change things at any point. But it's best opening up your, uh, your package, just looking at a screen that's working for you. Now, if you're new to TurboCAD or if you're coming over to TurboCAD from some piece of ancient software like AutoCAD Lite or something, then I would suggest you look at some of the other uh, packages, uh, my training films first. You know, drawing some lines, drawing some rectangles, just mucking about with things here and there first of all, just so you get an idea about a feel for the thing before you decide to try changing this interface. So, in the jargon, along the top is a standard toolbar. Down the left hand side are the tools toolbar. The palettes are normally over here. At the moment, it's opened up for my internet connection, which for some reason, oh God knows why, is um, uh, down. And down the bottom is what I always call the inspector bar. Um, other people call it other things, but essentially the inspector bar changes depending upon what tool you're in. And when you first open TurboCAD, it defaults to the line tool, so the inspector bar will relate to the line tool, which means, um, oh sorry, no, it's, it's on a rectangle here, so it's size A and size B. Uh, X and Y coordinates, don't know why it says A and B. Um, but we're going to change this to make it just exactly as we want it. So we're going to go up to Tools and Customise. Now, here's how we customise our tools. First page, the theme, what it looks like. Well, you know, this is one of those things I'd never even bother mucking about with. Here's your different themes, grey theme. If I click on Mac theme, it's changed very slightly, but almost you know, unnoticeable. So I'd leave that now. You can load at different sizes. Personally, I wouldn't touch anything here. One word, though, it says default here, your workspace, default. Once in a blue moon, about once a year, someone will phone me up and they say they've opened their TurboCAD and everything's disappeared. They haven't got any tools or, and I don't know what it's done and why it's done it. If that ever happens, or if you get rid of tools and you've just completely lost them, you've got no idea where they are anymore, and you think, oh, how am I going to get all these back? Then come into there and click on default and that will restore the, as they say, the factory setting. So you're back to, you know, you're back to where you know where you are. Next one along is toolbars. Now, I'll close this down for a minute because I'll show you how you effectively open toolbars. If you're drawing away, so you know I've got uh, I've got something over here, and, and this thing here I want to make say a linear copy of. I want six of those in a row over there, and so I want the copying tool. So I think, oh no, where's the copying tool? Oh, hang on, I did use it. Can't remember where it is. All you've got to do is go up to here in the top right click and then this appears and then you can go uh, copy click on copy there's your copying tools all right so that's the that's the way to do that or at the beginning if there's a certain number of tools you want out at the beginning you know then uh, put them up there if you want your double line tool out you know you can have your double line tool there if you like and you know, you can have your dimension tool there. You can you can lay this out any way you like. You know, I missed that somehow. You can put it up, or you can put them up there, or you can put them in there. You know, you can do what you like, and you can move them about, whatever suits you. Uh, personally, I quite like to have my screen as uncluttered as I possibly can, so I tend not to have those out. So back to tools, customize. Uh, Pop-up toolbars, we'll, we'll, we'll leave that, we'll come back to that one. Palettes. Now, you'll notice the one that's ticked here says Internet. You'll often find it's a, a default to that. So the first time you open it, on your right, you've got your Internet connection, or, or not, as in my case. Now, chances are, when you first open this, you're, you're probably more likely to want tools out there, really. So, if you click Tools, there's the tools, and mine's opened up into the the 3D tools. If you wanted selection information, you click on selection information. That's oh, that's appeared there now, over here. You see. So obviously, as you can see, you can uh, you can have more than one thing out at once. But you're just going to get very cluttered. So 
So let's just close all those down. We don't want a calculator, we don't want the internet, we don't want the selection information. We're just going to have the tools out there. Okay. Now another thing with these is they don't have to take up as much space. They can be made much narrower. I can click on the left click on the top bar here and bring them out. Uh, I can come down here and I can make them smaller. Let's see if I can see the bottom of that. And I can click onto that and I can make it smaller. And put it over there, make that narrower. So I can muck about with it until it until it suits me. Or I can simply get rid of it. Tools, customize, uh, where were we? Palettes, where are we? Tools. Okay, so as you can see, you can have none of those open at all. So let's open this up a little bit. Oops, sorry, it's not working because I've got that open. Okay, so let's open this up. Now, what I tend to do, because I tend to spend rather more time uh, giving instructions on TurboCAD than actually working on jobs myself. I try and turn them down where I can, they're always trouble. Um, I tend to like to have the 3D tools out, but I still need to, to draw in 2D as well. Obviously if you're drawing in 3D you've still got facets, you've got surfaces, and sometimes you need to draw in 2D on them, and sometimes you just need to, do, to draw some 2D lines on so you can snap uh, objects to certain places, midpoints along lines, that sort of thing. So when well, I'm drawing in 3D, and that's my favourite favorite way of drawing in 3D immediately right from the beginning. I'll also need 2D drawing tools. Now when I right click you'll see I've got a whole pile of 2D drawing tools. I've got my circles, there's my copying tools all greyed out because they won't come live unless I have something to copy. Um, we have my dimension tools here and here's the lines and down here is the text. Now. If I go up to uh, wherever, tools, customize, tool palettes, you see what I had on there? I had dimensions, I had text, copy, line. Let's say, for example, I don't want dimensions and I'm not going to use any text at this stage of the game. Um, all I'm going to be, I'll do all that sort of stuff later. I just want my lines, my copies, my circles. I go close, and now that's all I've got on my drawing. So if I want to draw a circle, I can go up here and choose a circle. On the other hand, if I wanted to draw a circle by two points, this one here, I'd have to go up here, then choose that, and then there's my two points. Or if I was doing one in the middle of there, I could do some snaps, M snap, M snap, the midpoint. Or I could simply right click and choose my circle from there, which is it's, it's more convenient. I'm not going all over there. I know no, it's not far, but it, it's just, it increases, you know, what in the jargon is your workflow. It makes the whole thing a lot more smooth. So have the, have the tools you're using all the time up here on your local menu on the right click of your mouse. Tools, customize. Uh, we've done palettes. Tool groups. Now, I wouldn't personally muck about with tool groups. If you want to, then you can. What, what this is in essence is, if you say look at the copying tools, I think there's eight copying tools. Uh, if there's a couple of them you never used, you want to take them out, you could do. If you wanted to add another tool into that tool group, then you could do. I uh, personally can't see the point. I won't bother going through it here. If that's something that appeals to you, look in the manual. It's a couple of short paragraphs that tell you how to do it. It's not difficult. Commands, again, commands are a bit vague, really. They're all to do with how you do things. You know, if I tell it to do this, it'll do this. Well, you can change all those things around. Again, I wouldn't really muck about without myself. But, you know, if you're interested, look in the manual again. So I'm not really going to bother spending any time on that. Keyboard. Uh, keyboard's just like Microsoft Office, that sort of stuff. You know, I mean, if you're writing, um, I don't know, if you're writing using perhaps Microsoft Word and there's a company name you use all the time you have to put in you know you'd use a you'd use a keyboard shortcut instead of write some long company's name you'd make it you know control three or something like that and, and you can do the same thing here so if if you were constantly using circles you might be able to, you might want to do sort of control z for circle or something it might be a quicker way of doing things for you if you like personally i've never bothered fucking about with them close so 
that's about it really for the tools that's the way you can um, do them so oh one other thing is I think I don't think I showed you this if you move this around uh, you can move it around anywhere if you get when you've clicked onto it you see all these arrows if you go over the arrow it'll dock back in there um, and I think that's really is about all there is to say apart from just one other thing about this uh, inspector bar down here as I said it will relate to what I'm drawing in so if I click in circle I've got circle at the moment down here it says radius diameter circumference okay if I click line I say length and angle if I say polygon it'll say number of sides angle of the sides radius side length and then variations on the way I can draw it so whatever tool you're in this inspector bar will relate to the tool okay I think that's about it for this one in the following interface film we're going to go up to options and look at all these things the way we set up our grid space units we're dealing with millimeters meters and all that sort of stuff uh, constraints any warning dialogue boxes you want to put on there okay so interface uh, setting up the interface part two is the next one and that's it for now thank you